All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching Shikimori's Not Just a Cutie episode three. Um, in the last episode, I, there were times where I, I've got to admit I was a little, I was getting a little bit kind of frustrated with the, the main guy, uh, Izumi, um, because of his just sheer kind of clutter, clut, clutzness. I don't know. Um, obviously, that's part of his character, and obviously I'll likely grow to kind of get used to that. But there's some moments where like it's very, the anime is very extra. With his character, Shikimori is a great character. Honestly, she, I'm loving her so far. She's very cool and badass in her kind of like where she gets serious scenes and stuff. But again, it's I'd like if it was a bit less extreme in cases of kind of Izumi um, and just how much he needs to be pampered. Really, <laughs> is the best way to describe it. Um, but yeah, uh, hopefully it, it kind of kind of uh, continue on with it here and imp it improves. Um, I'm sure I will continue on with it though. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to this episode. So as always, guys, like the video if you like the video and subscribe to the channel if you are new. And let's go into this episode right now. Monterey ticket. Oh, movie tickets. Why does he not want them? Oh, is he being a good bro for his, uh, for his friend? Ah, okay. Come on, bro. You know who to ask. <laughs> she was like begging for him to ask her then. This is this the first time you've gone to a theatre with her? Really? Bro, you're hella unlucky. Oh my god. Jesus, dude. How is this dude alive? Two umbrellas. Extra strong pants. Lock up your wallet, yeah. Bro is not bringing four towels, come on. Y yeah, 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 it's like you're going hiking, dude. Jeez, that must be heavy. No, that's too much, bro. <laughs> look at her little kind of at home, comfy look. Damn, she's super stylish. Hey, I, I like the kind of suit look. Really, well, suits her. <laughs> Oh, is this a bro? I like how he has pink hair too. What, did they not know she's got a boyfriend? Oh, that's nice of you. <laughs> but it's crazy that he can predict this shit. Like, tell me this dude doesn't actually have a curse on him or something. Damn, she looks nice. She really, put, she really puts in the effort for him. It is the first time you guys have gone to a theatre together. Jeez, how long have you been together? Bro, I hope it's not a romance. I hope they go see, like, Sonic 2 or something. <laughs> I actually think she probably, like, likes horror and, like, action. I bet. I bet. Nah, what do you like? That's such a hard choice. Just say what kind of movies you like. That's true. It's good that you're getting this out there. Oh, it's so going to be the horror movie. I want to put money on this. Come on. Yeah? No? Go on, pick it. Yeah? Yes, I knew it. Let's go. This is going to be so funny. Aren't most horror movies like... I don't know how age ratings work in Japan, but here it's like 15 and 18. I, I guarantee this is probably an 18. She's crazy. I hate horror movies so much. I mean, that isn't really scary, though. That's just gore. Like, it's gross, but it's not scary. Oh, jeez. That kind of, that kind of scared me. Jesus Christ, anime. <laughs> Bro, when did he turn into a fruit basket character? <laughs> nah, bro. It's going to be the complete opposite. Yeah, fucking kids. Yeah, Red Balloon, Pennywise, okay. Yeah, okay. Alright. This kid's... Yeah, fair enough. This kid was just bound to die then. Bro got souls in his balloons? Holy shit. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, yeah, squeeze a hand, bro. Squeeze a hand. 
<laughs> Bro is literally about to throw up. Oh my god. 1800 yen? God damn. Let's hope you haven't lost your wallet. Or the coupon. You've lost the coupon. Oh my dude. You tied it up. Come on. Wow. The universe hates you, bro. Bro's gonna get his identity stolen consistently. Father and mother. <laughs> Did she mean to say that? Yeah, my, you're not gonna, like, dumbass kid. Stop losing our money. What is this? Spaghetti and meatballs? Salad? Yeah? Yeah? Jesus. Good job, mom. You almost killed your kid. So was that his bad luck, or does his mom have bad luck too? Because that that would be that would make sense. What is this? Fried chicken? <laughs> yeah, that's quite an interesting spaghetti right there. Since you had home cooking, what's your home life like? Yeah, come over more often. That's cute. The parents love you, so you know, it's basically marriage. Yeah, oh, she just got a good poker face. Good job, Shikimori. There's like three dishes. <laughs> Not a big ass sink. If I get my own place, I want I want a big ass sink like that. <laughs> oh, that would be cute. You should take advantage. Go on. What do you see in my son? <laughs> He really went to school on his own with this curse? I'm surprised he didn't get hit by a car. Unless he did get hit by a car. Like, surely at some point the school would have to get involved. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, dude. How's he not dead? Yeah, she's just clumsy too. <laughs> Oh, I mean, I'd be surprised if she didn't lose patience with him at one point in their lives together. Bro, Izumi, Izumi's mom is such a mill. <laughs> You've got some sheer freaking willpower, yeah, Shikimori. Yeah, I've got to give him that, to be fair. He deals with it. He just brushes it off and deals with it. <laughs> wow. Wow, mom. <laughs> I love the dad jokes. Bro, am I you sleeping the whole time your girlfriend's over? Bro. They're playing Wii Boxing. That's so funny. Bro, just let her sleep over. Yeah, for real. You just gotta buy a ring, bro. That's It's set. Why did he, like, Aaron Yeager his goddamn coat right there? What the... <laughs> Why was that? Well, you should just... Y'all should stay over. Sleep together. Then you get to see a sleeping place. Stories about friendship. Okay. A new buddy film. We got a bit at the end of the episode? Motoko-san. Who? Oh, his mom? <laughs> Aw. All right, so that was Shikimori's Not Just a Cutie episode three. Uh, that was a really good episode. I really kind of did improve on my issues with the previous episode. Um, it kind of wasn't just severely focused on him being a klutz. It was very cute. I love seeing kind of the wholesome, healthy relationship on kind of understanding the issues he's had since he was very young. Like, I could only call it a curse at this point. Like, how is this possible? Um, it seems to come quite genetically from his mom as well in some way. I don't know. Passed down through generations some, on some Jojo shit. I don't know. Um, yeah, really good episode. It was really nice for them to kind of... Just really sweet, really. That's something we don't really see often. It's very healthy kind of relationship very early on in the anime. Um, along with kind of just getting to know the parents and stuff as well. It's not something that's touched on a lot either. Uh, but yeah, overall a very good episode and I'm definitely looking forward to the next. So as always guys, like the video if you like the video and subscribe to the channel if you are new and peace out guys.